I've always been fascinated by the potential of renewable energy, and today, we're diving into a mind-blowing concept. Imagine turning the world's largest hot desert into a giant power plant. Sounds crazy, right? Well, buckle up, because we're about to explore how solar panels in the Sahara Desert could potentially solve our energy problems. And trust me, the numbers we're dealing with here are absolutely insane. Okay, so get this. The Sahara Desert is huge, like really huge. We're talking about 9 million square kilometers of sun-baked sand. That's about the size of the United States. But here's the kicker. This massive desert receives a whopping 22 terawatt hours of solar energy every single year. Now I know what you're thinking. Guys, what the heck is a terawatt hour? Well, uh, let me put it this way. This amount of energy is 100 times greater than the entire world's annual energy consumption. Yeah, you heard that right. The Sahara gets enough solar energy in one year to power the entire planet for a century. It's like, you know, having a hundred Earths worth of energy just sitting there waiting to be tapped. Mind-blowing, right? Now, here's the cool part. How we can actually harness all this energy. Solar panels are pretty neat pieces of tech. They work by letting light particles called photons knock electrons loose within the panel. It's like a microscopic game of pool, where the cue ball is a photon and the electrons are the pool balls. When these electrons get knocked loose, Boom! We've got electricity. But wait, there's more. Solar panel technology has come a long way. In the last decade alone, the cost of solar panels has dropped by a whopping 89%. That's huge. It's all thanks to improved global supply chains and shared material technology. We're talking about countries like India, China, Egypt, and even the US building massive solar farms. These aren't just providing power. They're also offering shade for crops. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Now I know what you're thinking. If this is so great, why don't we just cover the entire Sahara with solar panels and call it a day? Well, um, it's not that simple. Covering large portions of the Sahara with panels would be like giving the desert a massive makeover. We'd be disrupting ecosystems and transforming the landscape in ways we can't fully predict. It's like trying to redesign your entire house without knowing what's inside the walls. But here's the thing. While covering the entire Sahara might not be practical, the concept still teaches us a valuable lesson. Addressing climate change isn't about finding one big solution. It's about combining lots of different approaches, both big and small. It's like building a giant Lego structure. You need all sorts of pieces to create something amazing. The mind-blowing potential and challenges of turning the Sahara into a solar powerhouse really get us thinking about the incredible possibilities of renewable energy. Remember, every solar panel on a rooftop, every wind turbine on a hill, they all add up. We're in this together, and together, we can build a cleaner, brighter future. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got some solar-powered experiments to run.